Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna to be shooting Hornady Black. Let me see what it is, I forgot. 110 grain VMAX out of the 300 blackout. And here's your box for that Hornady Black 110 grain VMAX load. There is, if I can get it to focus, there's your velocity info right there. Here is your promo information on Hornady's Black Ammo. If you wanna pause and read all that, you can. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual ammo itself. Nice, clean-looking brass. Pull one out, and there it is. There's your 110-grain VMAX bullet. I'll be really curious to see how this bullet does going at 300 blackout velocities because a lot of times your VMAX bullets, which are meant for varmint hunting, they're supposed to pretty much explode on impact once they go in just a little bit to put down coyotes and stuff like that. Um, a lot of cartridges that use the VMAX are shooting very, very high velocity, so it'll be really cool to see if the bullet performs at somewhat lower 300 blackout velocities. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 300 blackout, of course. It's got a 16-inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20-round magazine cuffs. Pop that open, you've got a 20-round magazine close at hand. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch rifle into the perfect truck gun or camp gun. Coming around to the other side, I've got my wild boar design on there. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. It'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Black 110 grain VMAX out of the 300 blackout. And we got performance about on par with what I would expect from a VMAX, a varmint bullet. We had rapid expansion and just explosive fragmentation from about the 2 inch out to really the 9 inch mark. There's bits and pieces and chunks all throughout here. One of my bullets did zing out the top and created a rather nasty looking wound in the gel but we did manage to capture the bulk of two of the bullets and the penetration for those pieces is about eh, they're about 15 14 and a half and 15 and a half ish inches respectively so we got a little penetration from the two main pieces but by and large we saw exactly what i would expect from a varmint bullet right there and let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that Hornady Black 110 grain VMAX out of the 300 blackout. Our high velocity was 2428. That stuff is cooking right along. Our low is 2364 and our average is 2386. This stuff beat the factory spec. And here we're looking at those 110 grain VMAX bullets recovered out of the gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We had 59 and 63 grains respectively for an average of 61 grains. That works out to 55% retained weight. And honestly, I'm surprised it's that high. The VMAX bullet is a varmint bullet. That's what the V and VMAX stands for. So I'm surprised these didn't actually explode. I'm sure that's due to the 300 blackouts relatively low velocity, even though this is the fastest 300 blackout load I've tested thus far. And now on to expansion. We saw 0 0.60 and 0 0.64 inches for an average of 0.62 inches, and that works out to 2x expansion. I am really, really happy with that and pleasantly surprised. No doubt we got a little bit more expansion than some of the other 300 blackout loads I've tested because these are varmint bullets after all, and they're going pretty darn fast. This is the fastest 300 blackout load I have tested thus far. And now on to velocity. We saw 2428 for the high, 2364 for the low, and 2386 for the average versus the factory build velocity of 2375. So we actually came in 11 feet per second faster than the factory build velocity. That is outstanding. These things are screaming. 
And finally on to penetration, we saw 14 and a half and 15 and a half inches respectively for an average of 15 inches of penetration. Being that this is a lightweight for caliber varmint bullet, no surprises, we didn't see more penetration. I'm actually surprised we didn't see less. I'm really surprised these bullets didn't break up a lot more than they did. They actually held together pretty well. This is an interesting load for the 300 Blackout. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Black 110 grain VMAX load out of the 300 Blackout. I was really looking forward to testing this. A lot of people have wanted to see this, so here we go. Um, it performed a little bit better than I expected, actually. I was expecting the bullets to break up a little bit more than they did, but we did have some fairly substantial chunks that made it all the way through to about 15 inches of penetration. Weight retention was 55% overall, 2x expansion. These actually performed pretty good. And of course, this is the fastest 300 blackout load I've tested thus far. The average was 2,386 feet per second. It actually performed faster than the spec on the box, 11 feet per second faster. It's an interesting load. I personally wouldn't hunt medium game with it. If you're going to take a neck shot or something on a deer, I'm sure this would work really well. If you were going to shoot, you know, make a perfect lung shot, heart shot, again, it'll definitely do the job. For me, I want something that has a little bit more mass to it when it's all said and done, and this just doesn't do that for me. I mean, I would hate to hit a shoulder blade or a rib or something with this bullet on a deer or a medium-sized hog. I just think there's too much room for error, and it's it's not a medium-game hunting bullet. It's a VMAX. It's a varmint bullet. But hey, if you were going to be shooting coyotes or something with a 300 blackout, this would be a good option. And we're going to talk about kinetic energy. I'm going to roll this into every video going forward. So this particular load, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here, with a 110 grain bullet, an average of 2,386 feet per second, about 7 feet from the muzzle, we're looking at 1,391 foot-pounds of energy. Now that's definitely more than enough to level a coyote or something like that. Using the old standby of 1,000 foot-pounds for medium game, we are over that, that's for sure, and this is a fairly aerodynamic bullet, so it's not going to slow down as much between 0 and 100 yards, even though it is a little bit light. It's going to hit with a little bit of authority down there at 100 yards or so, but pretty quick, we're going to get down below that 1,000 foot-pound threshold for whatever that's worth. Again, I don't consider this a medium game hunting load out of the 300 blackout. I don't know that I really consider any 300 blackout load a legit medium game hunting load. Can you do it? Sure. Should you? Man, I don't know. Anyway, make of that what you will. This was an interesting load. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. What would you use it for? Have you used it successfully hunting deer, hogs, coyotes, varmints, whatever? Let us know in the comments. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.